കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഹിസ്റ്ററി പാർട്ട് ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ് ടു ജനറേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഹലോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ക്ലാസ് വി ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ജനറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ തേർഡ് ജനറേഷൻ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ഫോർത്ത് ജനറേഷൻ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്ത് ജനറേഷൻ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് സോ തേർഡ് ജനറേഷൻ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് the third generation computer starts in the year 1964 to 1975 in the third generation computers we used integrated circuits or ic chips the integrated circuits consist of many transistors resistors capacitors and other components are integrated and packed together into a very small surface is known as the chip so the ic chip contains a lots of electrical circuits like the transistors that we have that we used like the transistors that we used in the second generation computers no so likewise a lots of transistors and that transistors all all are packed together into a very small circuit called a ic chip and this new micro electronic technology was called integrated circuits and this ic was invented by jack kilby in 1958 let's see what are all the advantages of the third generation of computers as compared to the previous generation smaller in size more reliable low maintenance cost easily portable and let's see what are all the disadvantages of third generation computers still we require air conditioning and highly sophisticated technology required for the manufacture of ic chips Let's recall the useful points that we learned in the third generation of computers. The third generation computers starts in the period of 1964 to 1975 and the main components used in the third generation computers are integrated circuits and its speed is measured in nanoseconds and the input output devices used here is typewriter terminal visual display unit optical character reader etc and the secondary storage are magnetic disk extended core storage mass storage device and the languages used in this generation are high level languages and the examples IBM 360/370 series ICL 1900 series PDP 11 RCA Spectra 70 etc This is the fourth generation of the computers and the fourth generation computer starts from 1975 onwards So we are using the fourth generation computers So in the fourth generation computers were developed by the using of microprocessor technology By coming to fourth generation the computer size became very small in size like our laptop our personal computers all are the four generation computers and it is also much faster and accurate as compared to the previous generation so let us look what are all the advantages of four generation computers it becomes smaller in size and the heat generated is negligible that means now it is not producing that much of heat and it, it is much faster in computation than previous generation and it take only a less electricity and no air conditioning is required in most of the cases so let us see what are all the disadvantages of this fourth generation computers yes it requires highly sophisticated technology is used to for manufacturing of vlsi chip so highly skilled people are required in its manufacture so that is the disadvantages so let us recall the useful points of four generation computers 
The fourth generation computers start from the period of 1975 and onwards. Still, we are using the fourth generation computers. And the components used here are very large scale integrated circuit and its speed is in picoseconds. And the peripherals used, you know that nowadays what are all the peripheral I.O. devices and storage we are using? That we are using in the fourth generation computers. And here of course using the high level languages. And the examples of fourth generation computers are Cray 1, Cray 2, IBM 3090-600, IBM ES-400, HP 9000, IBM ES-9000, VAX, etc. So let us see what is the fifth generation computers. Yes, the fifth generation computer is robots. So it starts from the year 2010 to till date. The fifth generation computer is under development. So what are all the ideas behind this future generation computers are to decreasing the cost of hardware and software and high processing speed, knowledge based processing speed and development of natural language processing natural language processing means the language that we are using it is usage of ai that is artificial intelligence that means they are able to think and behave like a human being so now let us write all these things in your notebook question number one what are all the components used in third generation computers that is integrated circuits what are all the components used in the fourth generation computers it is microprocessor and for the fifth it is artificial intelligence and write this useful points in your notebook thank you children